is that uh, you can just uh, carry on from where you left off. So, Atticus Finch. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that he was the well-rounded person that, uh, that, that uh, Malone Fenn suggests her character, because, of course, um, uh, Rumpole was much more well-rounded uh, than Earl Wood. But Atticus, Atticus was even-handed throughout the story. He was one of the few characters in to uh, play a mockingbird, or to kill a mockingbird even, uh, <laughs> uh, who uh, never had to rethink his position. And we can't say that about Costello. We can't say that about Rumpole. And we certainly can't say that about dear old uh, uh, Kavanagh, can we? Atticus was stern, but fair. His skill as a lawyer was clearly shown, where he politely proved Bob Yule to be a liar. He was respectful in his questioning of my own. This, not for Atticus, not for Atticus, was the over-the-top haranguing that we often see uh, from Kavanaugh or Costello, an approach which, as those of us who practice law know, Point of information. Uh, uh, in a moment, I want to make a bit more progress. <laughs> <laughs> As those of us who practice law know, often causes witnesses to shut up shop. So he had the most effective approach uh, of uh, all of them. And unlike Ella Woods, it was a realistic approach. He was the same in his house as he is on the public street. He lectures his children, about the evils of taking advantage of those less fortunate than themselves. Is it good to lecture your children? <laughs> well, often, often, often it is, but they'll probably lecture you in later life. Point of information. Uh, come back to the moment. You've only got one more chance next time you have to take it. <laughs> uh, he is critical of those who exploit others, and despite the fact that Finch doesn't like criminal law, he agrees to represent Tom Robinson. Why? Because he believes in justice, and he believes that justice should be colourblind, which was no small thing, given the time and place in which he lived. He was not infected by prejudice. He had no problem with his, his children attending Calpurnia's church or being raised by a black woman. He even went into a black community to tell Helen of Tom's death, again, something which was very significant given the time and place in which he lived. He wasn't one who had violent tendencies, unlike dear old cuddly Kavanagh, who, uh, <laughs> oh, who well, Kavanagh, of course, who uh, uh, did uh, stand up to the, uh, the, the man who uh, was uh, sleeping with his wife, and he didn't denigrate others in the way that Kavanaugh did I think with Jeremy Old and Martin Q. I'm happy to take the point of order. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Um, the main point about Atticus Finch is, of course, that he lost his case and his client got shot running away from the police. <laughs> 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 Finch took on the case knowing that he was going to lose, but knowing that his client deserved the best representation that could be given. And no one could accuse Finch of not providing Robinson with the best defence that he could be given. And as we all know, well, as we all know, we are only as good as the uh, case that we uh, have. So Atticus Finch is somebody... Atticus Finch, thank you. Atticus, Atticus Finch is somebody uh, who was ahead of his time. He was somebody who stood up for the underdog. He was somebody who lived his personal life as he did his professional life. And he is somebody who quite simply was without realistic, without uh, reasonable criticism. I give you... Asikas Finch. Mm -hmm.